Let me ask you something. When was the last time you thought about urinals? Probably never, right? Have you ever wondered what happens when you use a urinal? And why some are waterless or dry, while others flush water? Hi, my name is Uttam Banerjee and today I'm going to share the surprising science behind waterless and flushing urinals and why making the right choice can change the game for hygiene and the environment. One of the biggest misconceptions is that dry or waterless urinals are not hygienic. They might allow the bacteria to build up and spread infections. Now let's discuss all these one by one. When it comes to spreading of infection, the truth is flushing after peeing can actually spread more germs. Yes, that spray of water from flushing called toilet plume contains droplets of water and urine that float around your bathroom. These droplets can end up on your skin, clothes or nearby surfaces. On the other hand, waterless urinals are touch free, meaning no need to touch any surface, no contact and no risk of cross contamination. You know, in comparison, traditional flushing or wet urinals often require manual operation of the flushing mechanism, which can lead to the spread of germs and increase the risk of infection. In fact, Dr. Charles Jerba, an environmental microbiologist, have also highlighted in his studies that waterless urinals significantly improve public restroom hygiene by eliminating these point of contact and fostering a safer, cleaner environment. Now let's see the bacterial growth in both waterless as well as wet urinals. See, we all know that bacteria thrive in moist environments, right? You know, flushing urinals with constant exposure to water and urine create a perfect breeding ground for bacteria like E. coli, Enterococcus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and can lead to unpleasant odors and potential infections. Moisture with urine provides nutrients and supports bacterial metabolism, division and biofilm formation. You see, flushing urinals are prime environments for biofilms to form, especially on surfaces with constant moisture and organic matter like urine. These biofilms can retain a high concentration of bacteria, making the urinal more challenging to sanitize thoroughly. Waterless or dry urinals on the other hand, remain moisture free. Bacteria on waterless urinal pans are more likely to face dehydration stress because they lack moisture, which is crucial for bacterial survival and reproduction. While some bacteria might survive in a dormant state, the overall bacterial load on a waterless urinal is significantly lower making it a far more hygienic option. Now let's talk about odors. You know, many people assume that waterless urinals might smell worse because they don't flush. But the opposite is true. In flushing urinals, bacteria breaking down organic material cause those strong, unpleasant odors. Waterless or dry urinals do not have the moisture to support this process and they're also fitted with odor control mechanisms. So there is less to no smell and you get a fresher restroom experience. Besides health benefits, waterless urinals also save water, millions of liters of water every year. Now by choosing waterless urinals, we are not only protecting people's health, but also conserving one of the most precious resources on our planet, which is water. You see, waterless urinals are not just hygienic and water saving, they are eco-friendly too. Many green buildings choose waterless urinals to reduce their environmental impact and earn green building certification. Less water no chemical and lower maintenance costs. It's a win-win for both planet and your wallet. So in short, waterless urinals are safer, healthier and cleaner than traditional wet or flushing urinals. Fewer bacteria, no toilet plume and no unpleasant odors. If you're still unsure about waterless urinals, drop a comment below and I would be happy to discuss them in more detail. Share this video with friends and colleagues and do subscribe to the channel to support us. Thank you.